Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today I want to share about how everything that you need from God has already been provided for you. Yeah, did you know that? Did you know that everything that that God, uh, you know, he, he's already done everything he could possibly do for you. So it's the it, it it's all in your hands now to believe that it's already finished. You know, it's finished. Okay. I want to show you this in, in Isaiah chapter five. Now I will sing for the one I love a song about his vineyard. My beloved had a vineyard on a rich and fertile hill. He plowed the land, cleared its stones, and planted it with the best vine. In the middle he built a watchtower and carved a wine press in the nearby rocks. Then he waited for a harvest of sweet grapes, but the grapes that grew were bitter. Now you people of Jerusalem and Judah, you judge between me and my vineyard. What more could I have done for my vineyard that I have not already done? When I expected sweet grapes, why did my vineyard give me bitter grapes? What more could I have done for my vineyard that I have not already done? When I expected sweet grapes, why did it bring forth bitter grapes? You know, when I read this the other day, I was just thinking like about all the scriptures, really, you know, like just even when Paul says, boast not in men, you know, uh, for all things are yours and you are Christ and Christ belongs to God. And then, you know, Jesus is saying, it is finished, you know, who, <laughs> all things are possible to him who believes, you know, all these things that, that the scripture says, um, you know, if you can believe, if you have faith, if you have faith of a mustard seed, you know, nothing's impossible for you. And, and it's, it all boils down to, I believe, in the same sense as God is, is speaking here, like, hey, you know, I've done everything on my end right you know what i mean like i did everything that i could do and and i did everything right why why didn't it bring forth grapes sweet grapes why did it bring me better grapes and it's just a, it's a mystery of of the the free will that we've been given and and the ability that we have to choose <laughs> and and how we we just miss the mark you know and but god is 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 letting us god is good like god is really good do you know he's good like he really is good and he really has provided us a way that's why it says no temptation shall take you you know god will always provide a way of escape like everything is there for us it's just a matter of us like walking by faith and walking by the spirit of god to take hold of his promises believe them and and be patient for them i think a lot of the problem is is that we don't well i mean first of all we don't believe second of all even when we do believe we're not patient so so it's just a balance of of just waiting but also being proactive and not just doing nothing in the waiting, but also, you know, working um, out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And and I just believe that we need to, to get this ingrained in our minds that it's finished. You know, whatever it is, I mean, besides, I mean, obviously we're waiting for our new bodies, we're waiting for whatever, but, you know, all things are yours, you know? Like, we, we don't have to wait for joy. You know, we don't have to wait for love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. These things are all in us. Like, we, we are engrafted into this vine, and we need to understand that when you're engrafted into that vine, everything that flows in that vine is yours so why how could we say that something's not ours that is ours it's just that we don't we haven't we don't believe we're you know we're being transformed by the renewing of our mind we we're being um tr 
trained to the training isn't to teach us how to take hold of things that God is giving us. The training is to teach us how to believe in what is already ours. <laughs> so take hold of that today. There's nothing to wait for. It's all yours. You just don't believe what is yours. Amen.